like using the buzz angle we're going to see how fast and how easy it is to set a top dead center position and also a 24 degree position on this mag housing to align with the arrow that's on the flywheel so that we can use that for strobing normally it means taking off the nut taking off the flywheel putting the degree disc on marking points forwards and backwards let's see how quickly we can do it First step, wind that into there and pull the flywheel around until it stops. And the anti-clockwise position. Then we're going to use the Allen screw in the middle to lock the buzz wangle roughly into place. And we're going to mount the degrees. So we're going to centre it, press once, press twice. Okay, we're going to spin it round until it stops. And it says 66.3 degrees. So we're looking at 33.1, which is halfway between those two points. So now I have to take out the um, spot piston stop. So we're looking for 33.1 degrees. And That's there. Okay, so that's top dead center. Now, if we set it back to 33.1, if I press once, twice to zero it, now I'm looking for 24 degrees. So there's my firing point. That's how quick it is to set your timing marks using the buzz wangle. This is the final part of the uh, chapter on sorting out your timing. We're going to use a Gunson timing light. Now this one here has got is adjustable for different amounts of degrees. You don't want that feature because that doesn't like um, scooter ignitions, particularly Veritronic with double spark. So you turn that one to zero and it's, it's taped off. So the simpler the timing light, normally the better for this sort of job. So there's an arrow on there that indicates the direction towards the spark plug. So I've just got to put that clamp onto that HT lead there and then we're ready to go pretty much. And then what we're looking for is the arrow to line up with that mark which is 24 degrees before top dead center as we marked and that is top dead center there that mark now this is a variable timing ignition system so what will happen is it, uh, you set the timing so that it's roughly 24 degrees and as the engine revs the timing retards so it will move the arrow you'll see the arrow move more towards top dead center if that doesn't line up at 24 degrees, what we'll have to do is take the flywheel off and move the stator plate. 